Man, I'm it's hot in here. Ooh, it is hot, boy. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? You turn the fan, dude. Guys, what up? Welcome back to the channel. Man, it's getting hot out here. This sun is no joke. No joke. But today, guess what we get to do? That's right. We get to help you guys out once again because I got a lot of requests on this particular topic, on this particular part, I should say, is the Dakota Digital. Dakota Digital, how do we wire this thing in? How do we set this thing up? I'm going to go through the wiring process with you guys today. I'm not going to go with the details as far as setting it up because there's, I mean, there's all kinds of different configurations that you guys might get with the different cars and things like that different engines and all that so we're not going to go through all that not only that because we haven't started the car yet we're waiting on a few parts for one our gas tank still ain't here but i'm going to show you guys the digital dash that we went with on the firebird and then show you guys kind of it's super simple super easy to put together and to wire up just a few sensors and the power ground and stuff like that let me walk you guys over to the actual gauges I got those set up on, on the actual um, dash bezel. Let me show you guys. So this is our dash bezel here for our Dakota digital gauges. Um, these guys here, I want to say, wow, well, which one did we get? Let me get the part number for you guys. As a matter of fact, I got a freaking mess, guys. Let's walk over here. Let's see here. What does this box say? Just in case you guys might be doing a Firebird. I know, right? I should have been ready for this, guys. I apologize. Apologize. All right. That there is the VHX 70P FIR SR. It's from 70 to 81 Pontiac Firebird. And those are silver with the red back lighting. So that's what those are. The VHX guys. So those are the ones we got. This is the old gauges here. You guys can see. What the hell is that? Oh, snap. Oh, damn, did y'all see that? Damn, was that a scorpion? Oh, shit. I don't think it was a scorpion. Oh, boy, I got to clean the garage up. But, guys, yeah, let's go ahead and get over to the car real quick to show you guys what we need to do to get these things hooked up. All right, so we're at the engine side. And at this point, you guys should at least have an idea on where your guys' sensors are located at. Um... Other than like the oil pressure, because the oil pressure Dakota Digital really like suggests that they want it down by the oil filter housing. So I'll show you guys a little better once we go down there. We'll put the car up in the air and you guys can see where that thing's at. But you guys can kind of see it from this angle down there. You see that? That is our oil pressure sending unit down there. And... Uh, that's where that guy goes. That's where they recommend. But you have to have a little adapter block off plate kind of deal. You have to order one of those. Um, but obviously this is your coolant temp sensor um, for your wiring harness. Now, like I said, this video is only for LS. Only LS. So if you guys are running like a big block Chevy, small block Chevy, something like that, this is obviously going to be a little different because I'm running two sensors for this car particularly because I'm running one for the ECU, which is this guy. Because the wiring harness I got here calls for the sensor to land there. And it's, we're using the stock factory one location there. And then the other one, we actually ran for Dakota Digital right there. If you guys can see it right down there in the back. We're using that along with the adapter, guys. This adapter kit. This adapter should have came with all the Dakota Digital when you guys order it, make sure you guys order for the correct engine so that way you get all the correct adapters and everything all like that. But that's going to be your your oil, I'm sorry, your oil, your coolant temp sensor now. You'll run your pigtail, run that back into the dashboard. So you're really only going to have, I want to say, three sensors total overall, really, that, are, uh, that you're going to need. You're going to have your coolant temp sensor there, your oil is down there at the bottom and then your speedometer and that'll be down at the bottom too at the transmission side i'll take you guys down to the transmission side and show you guys that one but everything else um is really going to be ran from your ecu or just the voltage off the the power that you actually provide it to the actual um block the actual block from dakota 
But other than that, I mean, there's really nothing to it, guys. It's so simple, so easy. They make it really easy. So let's go down underneath. I'll show you guys that real quick. All right, so on the transmission side, you're gonna have the speed sensor. This is the one that it comes with in the kit from Dakota. So all you're gonna do is uh, remove the old cable style, cut that off, we'll do whatever you gotta do and unthread it, undo this bolt here, and then thread in the new one, and then lock it in with the same lock from the old style, and then plug your connector in, and then route your connector all the way to the end. So you're gonna route it above the transmission and then up into the dash, I'd say somewhere into the cab so you can actually plug it into the Dakota box. Um, also, while we're down here, the oil temp sensor, um, they recommend Dakota Digital, they like to have it right here next to the oil pan to really get a correct reading on the oil pressure. Now, if you look, I, um, I bought this LSX adapter plate block and then just ran it just like that. So you guys are probably gonna need to get that. That does not come in the kit. What does come in the kit, usually if you get the whole kit, it'll come with these little spacers or I should say almost adapters. So that way you can adapt from this opening to the actual sensor, because that's gonna be two different uh, sizes. So make sure you guys have that adapter and then plug it in there and that'll give you an accurate reading for your oil pressure. Um, I think that's the only thing underneath the car everything else should be on top of the motor i want to show you guys one thing and i want to tell you guys that if i ever catch anybody doing this to anything to my car anything like this or to my family boy let me catch you doing this shit you ain't gonna burn me down guys please do not do this kind of work right here like look at this like you do not cut wires, unplug wires, and then like this is all a potential for this car to be burned down with you and your family in it. Like if you guys are ever doing this kind of work, man, anybody ever slap yourself, check yourself. I don't care if the customer didn't pay for it. I don't care if you're if you're just a friend and you're just helping them out and you're not charging them. Don't do this kind of shit. Like. Put some electrical tape on it. Put some heat shrink on it. Something like, even if they're not being used, like, come on, man. Like, don't do that because you're going to burn this motherfucker down, bro. Like, come on. I'm sorry, guys. If you guys know me by now, you guys know I like to rant. Like, I don't know. I just, it's just a thing to me. Like, don't, don't do that to people. You know what I mean? Like, that is literally a potential, like, burn your car down, like a hazard, like, what if you got you and your family in here? Like, come on, like, think about that. Think of it if it was your car. We're going to hook him up. We're going to get all that taken care of. I'm going uh, to electrical tape it all together nice and neat out of the way so we don't have any issues. Guys, if it's something that I see and I'm working on the car, even though I don't, like, I'm not going to charge them for that. Like, I, I just can't. I just can't do it. I just, I don't know what it is, but it's, just get it done. If you want to charge them, go ahead, but... I'm going to go ahead and fix it, and he won't even know it, but just just don't do that to people. That's all I'm saying. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, we'll clean that up here in a sec. Let me clean all this stuff up real quick because i got to finish cleaning this up. I'm also adding a um, cigarette lighter. Actually, I took the cigarette lighter out, and I'm adding a USB f charging port for him because he said his wife's going to drive this car, so we want to add a nice uh, USB charger for her, you know what I mean, so she can charge her phone. So make sure she's uh stay connected on the gram. Make sure she's connected on the YouTube. You know, watching Goose performance. You never know. You got to charge her up. All right, let me hook this up real quick, and we will come right back with the dash install. All right, we got that all hooked up. Got everything good. So ready to be dropped in. I should say the Dakota Digital. Um, let me walk you guys real quick through this little setup deal here. Now, you guys see too. Look, I did it here too. I went ahead and. Uh, Got everything cleaned up, ran my wires, and and then made uh, jumper wires from the existing dash harness. Even though I cut the connector off, I made sure that everything was nice and neat, tucked away, and we're not using it. Look, that's the original harness, and everything we're not using is nice and here, laced in. Not any potential of anything getting burned down or anything like that. So make sure you do that. Let me grab the dash, too, real quick. 
All right, so real quick on the dash side, on these particular gauges, these have these ribbon ties that you want to make sure you connect. And you got to make sure you connect them to the correct one because they have the same connector on the end of them for the most part, but you can connect them wrong. So they actually make it super simple. Like this one says temp. And then that'll say temp. Same thing with this one. This one says oil. And that other ribbon will say oil, vice versa. And this one says fuel. That one will say fuel. Guys, it's dummy proof. You cannot miss, okay? So make sure you got all this hooked up before anything. And this particular one as well, this one calls for this jumper, Cat 6 right here. Make sure you have that jumper there already to go. And these is where your turn signals will go. Um, we're going to try to use these stock ones. They have the option to where you can use these to look like, like they're stock or use the ones inside the actual gauge itself. I always like to make sure we use these because they just it's easier to wire and then they also look like a factory look. And speaking of, these are my wires right here that are going to go to my turn signals. I got left and right already wired up. So what I did is I found the um, the power signal off from your dash that goes to your turn signals. So the positive, you'll right, wire up positive left and then positive right on each one of these pigtails they give you. And make sure it's the green one. And then the black one, black and white, just goes to ground. I just tied those in together with the ground. Just find a good ground, tie those in together. And on this side, I got my box just kind of just sitting in here. I got a zip tie here. It wasn't going to move anyways because it was pretty tight in here. But I zip tied it anyway to so make sure there's nothing that came loose. So let's walk you through it. Uh, let's go left to right. How about that? Um, so the left side, you guys can see it'll say fuel, right? Fuel negative and then fuel signal. So the fuel negative is basically your ground. Uh, if you guys saw the last video when we did the fuel system, I ran a harness all the way from the back of the car to the front of the car over here to the gauges, and that's where those line up there. You see that silver? I'm not sorry, silver. Gray and brown. So the gray is my ground all directly all the way from the sending unit, and the brown is the actual signal from the pump. So that's that. That's pretty easy, right? And then oil. Oil is next up. Oh, you're gonna have four wires that come from that uh, sending unit. You're gonna have a bare wire, a black wire, white wire, and a red wire, okay? So the two that you're gonna combine there are just the bare wire and the black wire. Combine those two and then put it into the oil negative, which is your black there, and that's it. On the water sensor, you're gonna have, that's the easiest one, it's just uh, two wire leads red and black just plug them in just like it says red and black unscrew them and plug them in now you're going to have a sensor not a sensor i'm sorry a switch that comes with it basically it helps you toggle uh, i can get this phone over here if i it helps you toggle through the menu so that's where i mounted my switch so this will help you toggle through all the menus in the actual dakota digital um, dash so that's the next one there. You're gonna have adjust and then switch. And you're actually gonna wire this particular car, you're gonna wire it into both of those. So you're gonna take the black lead that comes off the, the actual switch and wire it into the one that says ADJ negative. ADJ negative, you're gonna run it into that. And then the red wire, run it into where it says switch one negative. And then the green wire, or it might be white, in our case it's green, I don't know if you guys can see it, you're gonna run that into switch two, negative, and that's it. And then uh, last but not least, as far as the sensors go, all we have left is the speedometer, and that one's just simple. It's red, white, and black, just like it says right there. Pretty self-explanatory, nothing crazy. The speed out, you're not gonna use. Um, that one's just like for an external, like um just an external device that you might add on or something like that that you need it to read the speedometer that's a an output so don't use that you won't use it in this case and then over here on the left i'm sorry right side you have your tack you have your ex, ex uh, accessory power constant power and ground so we ran a accessory power which is a on power constant power we just found a, a power in the car and we ran it there. And then the ground, same thing. 
But your tack, we actually ran the tack wire. I don't know if it's hard to see right here, but it's white. Um, the tack wire, we actually grabbed it from our computer, our computer harness. In this case, it's an LS PSI harness, and we ran the tack wire directly into that. Now, if you guys are running like a small block Chevy or a big block Chevy, a lot of times they use that wire, and it comes back from your actual, what's it called, um, your distributor cap or distributor in the back of itself you run that wire there but the last one i'm running for this particular one is up here is the check engine light one that one comes from my computer as well check engine light plug that one in and then plug in your cat six and that cat six gets plugged into the back of your dakota digital gauges and that's it that's really it i'm it don't get no much simpler than that guys i don't know what else i can say or do but that's easy, super easy. Read the instructions for the setup process. Let me throw these in real quick, plug them in, and then I'll show you guys what this thing looks like. I'll see if I could even get them to come on, maybe. We'll see, stick around. Guys, one thing I did forget to mention as we're losing light, um, as far as connecting your digital dash, your Dakota, your box, you see that little guy up there that says dim? You wanna connect that wire to your headlight switch something that basically like a parking light tail light something that comes on with your dash the light so that way the backlighting on the actual dash comes on as well so don't forget that okay let's light these things up okay they're in i haven't turned the key yet i'm waiting for you guys i'm waiting on y'all this is one of my favorite parts guys if you're looking to do a mod on your car, the one of the best things you can do for an old car is gauges. Gauges is completely game changer. Looking into a set of gauges, but let's do this. Man, I'm it's hot in here. All right, let's get it. All right, you guys, I'm going to spoil you guys. I went ahead and waited till it got dark. To film this part of the video and now that we actually can see the gauges light up now yeah buddy you guys ready all right let's hit the key on real quick let me do it with this hand so y'all can see i can yeah buddy look at that okay let's throw this on oh son look at that though Clean though, bro. Man, that shit looks good. See? Gauges make all the difference, you guys. Man, those look sweet. He gonna love those, guys. He gonna love that. I think that's it for this video. There you have it. Dakota Digital Dash is in, installed. Guys, you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, guys. Stay wrenching. I'm out.